You go to a nurse at a school and she'll say, 30 years ago we had one EpiPen on the wall. Now we've got 30. We've got the same, same enrollment, same amount of kids. Or now we have 60 EpiPens. So clearly kids are having problems today that they didn't have many years ago. So you, you gotta ask yourself why? Why is this? There's gotta be a reason. What happens is that the gut lining generally prevents certain proteins from getting out and challenging the immune system, leading to allergies and sensitivities. Anything that can threaten the lining of the gut can increase the risk of these food sensitivities. And when you understand that glyphosate, by changing the gut bacteria, whose job it is to maintain the gut lining, will therefore lead to permeability of the gut, leakiness of the gut, or may lead to it. Their immune system is seeing these foods as foreign invaders and they're mounting an antibody response to these foods. Then it really sets up a perfect storm in terms of connecting the dots between genetically modified food leading to uh, more consumption of glyphosate-laden food, challenging the gut bacteria, leading to permeability or leakiness of the gut, then whatever protein should have been excluded get into the system and lead to these uh, allergic issues, these sensitivity issues that are so prevalent today.